Here you going? You filming? You filming? A few weeks ago, the Judgment Day, the apocalypse is now, and the end is near. Welcome to Mad... <coughs> Welcome to Madman. A few weeks ago, on Saturday, May 21st, 2011, Judgment Day occurred. The system went down, the major cities collapsed, the dead rose from the grave. There was chaos in the streets. Four horsemen really gave us a thrashing. Luckily, I survived and I'm here to give you some survival techniques to uh, keep you alive during the next five months. Because the worst has yet to come. Let's go. So, there are three things you need to keep in mind if you're gonna survive an apocalypse. The first is you gotta find yourself some shelter. The second is you gotta find sustenance, sustenance. And the third, and most important, is find yourself some safety, which, which takes the form of my shotgun right here, Old Samantha, which also starts with an S. Abandoned buildings are Great for temporary shelter, but when I say temporary, I mean temporary. Because remember, in an apocalypse, we're all homeless. Also, when you're in said shelter, keep a sharp eye out for useful supplies. Oh. For instance, shine some light on this situation. Why am I wearing a wool hat? It's like 90 degrees out. It seems to be vacant. It doesn't look like there's human life anywhere. Sometimes you're not gonna have your uh, a trusty shotgun like I had before, my boom stick. So I had to uh, uh, get this thing for scraping ice, but it's pretty good for hitting things in the face. Okay, see, it's, it's off. It's off. So that means we're not going to be able to get it any out um, mechanic technologically. So you uh, take this out, and um, it's going to be dirty. I'm not going to lie. It's going to be a little dirty. But if you want to get gas out, uh, you got to do this. So, uh, it seems, uh, it's all been sucked dry, which, uh, it's gonna happen, but, uh, you gotta cut your losses and keep looking around for provisions, like, uh, did here. What does the world come to? Thankfully, we have a little something to pry the door. Oh, there's a dead bullet. I'm not getting in. Water. Perfect. All right, uh, I know it doesn't seem like much, but water is water. And, uh, it seems to be coming from a reliable source. <coughs> the mall is the best 
and worst place you can be during an apocalypse. Pros, you can find yourself some sustenance and safety. Cons, it is more likely to attract zombies and mutants. My plan is to infiltrate said mall as a zombie by mutant thing, a zombie mutant to be extra safe. I'm gonna try to find some sustenance and safety. I know it's risky, but I am the madman. And I must do what I have to do to survive. I had to get out of there. I had to. I mean, I wasn't scared. It was ransacked. I mean, what can you expect in a wasteland? So I'm gonna try finding sustenance elsewhere. And just keep on surviving. Woo! Oh yes! My waiting finally paid off. We finally find our second S, sustenance. Who are you? I'm everything you want to be. Witty, handsome, mysterious, skilled, successful. I have those things too. I have a show. Do you? So, my mom said that I had to come back inside because I was severely dehydrated. And that's why I was having the hallucinations. And that's why it's so important that you carry water. Sustenance. So let's recap. We have shelter, sustenance, extra sustenance, and safety. Remember those four S's and you can survive the apocalypse like me. Now, yeah. till next time, this has been the Madman. I'm gonna be taking a break for a little while. Uh, I'll see all you mad fans after the summer. Have a lovely break. <laughs> <laughs>